Hi, y'all. Um, I wanted to talk about a concept that I was recently reminded of. Uh, I have a friend who uh, I had a conversation with, and he was talking about the alpha, beta, and theta waves that our brain produces uh, throughout the day or when we're about to go to sleep, and then when we are sleeping, our brain operates at certain frequencies, um, like the beta and theta waves that I just mentioned. And it reminded me that I did have an invention, or at least a concept, a long time ago that I've forgotten about. It's not even in my log of uh, current invention ideas. Uh, but essentially, it's a headband, um, like a thin piece of metal that would be like a thing that you, um, yeah, just like a headband, like a sweatband that you'd put around your head. And the concept is uh, it could amplify or simulate the exact frequencies that your brain emits during these beta and theta waves that are used for rest, relaxation, uh, sleep, and uh, more advanced thoughts that we don't usually get when we're in our normal waking state of alpha. Um, and yeah, just the general idea was... Um, you could try and see if you can get your frequency. Like you would have to wear the device so it could scan your own brain and match the exact frequency that your brain operates at when it hits those certain frequencies. And then um, after a little bit of training on your frequencies, then at any given point you could activate the beta or theta wave on the headband to amplify um, those effects and maybe simulate those effects artificially through this headband. Uh, I do actually remember specifically I had some concerns about this in terms of if you could emulate the brainwave you need um, that when, when you sleep and your brain starts healing and recovering and stuff. Um, I believe I had this concept when I had severe insomnia, so I was thinking this would potentially be a solution to insomnia where you could... Um, if you couldn't fall asleep when you wanted to, you could at least activate the headband when you're laying down or at a moment of rest and get some of those reparative um, functions happen, even if it's artificially. But it made me concerned that um, if it was successful and you were able to not need sleep, where you could artificially generate it through this headband, I was concerned about the long-term detrimental effects on the on the body or the brain itself in terms of um, it might artificially make you feel refreshed or uh, supplement sleep or increase brain activity in certain times. But I was concerned that if you completely eliminate real sleep where you're actually in a bed, passed out... Um, it could lead to long-term health effects. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of um, famous cases of people who are unable to fall asleep and they ultimately just die because your body just, even if you rest or don't move or whatever, you, your body needs sleep. That's just how we evolved on this planet with the sun and the moon cycles and everything. So I don't know, or there would be, need to be extensive testing onto the long-term and detrimental effects of a device like this even though it's just a concept i believe that it's still an intriguing one in that um you know our brains we don't really understand them we just know that there's electrical pulses there's synapses um, and frequencies that it operates at an electrical level and so yeah just my concept in general is just a headband that can help amplify or simulate artificially uh, some of those brain waves and functions uh, to increase our ability to go without sleep or induce like critical thinking or creative thinking uh, with just a press of a button.